Crafters, thanks for tuning in to Crafts and Coffee with Chris and Kel. I'm Chris. And I'm Kel. And today we are recording our episode for Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's one hour whip and chat challenge. Thank you, Mrs. Coffee, for the opportunity. We are so excited to be able to be a part of this challenge and to have met you all online and, and be a part of this amazing community. We've only been here for about six weeks, but we have absolutely loved this experience so far and you guys have just done so much for us you don't even know thank you <laughs> okay and if y'all didn't know i'm the one that talks the most and it's not because i just love to talk it's because she doesn't boom <laughs> anyhow so i know some of you have already seen our chat our channel and uh you know, heard some of our story, but we will be going over a little bit about who we are and how we got into crafting. Uh, we've come up with some different types of questions to try to make this a little fun. So, um, yeah. So, and we're also going to be talking about where we want our channel to go in the future. So that'll probably be bit, you know, be a little bit towards the end of the, the episode. So stick with us. Lot to, lot, lot to hear. But so before um, we get into that, we're going to yes. talk about what we're working on today. Um, for the Black Friday sale that was going on with Craftably, um, I ended up getting two notebooks. Uh, this is our first experience with Craftably, and we're excited. We are. I have been. We've been looking at these uh, notebooks for a while, and Kel surprised me with one on uh, when Christmas time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Part of my Christmas gift. So we thought we would do these together while we record this episode. So let's get into it. Here we go. All right. So first off, we're going to be um, doing a little segment called uh, Get to Know Ya. So we're going to describe a few things about ourselves. So uh, first one is hair color. Uh, I am a light brown to blonde because I dirty. dyed it. Because you're dirty. I am a dirty girl. <laughs> well, not anymore. I'm over my 40s and I don't care about any of that stuff anymore. <laughs> and Kel, your hair? Um, brown. <laughs> mousy brown, just like no, me. No, <laughs> yours is darker brown than mine. Okay, yeah. Mine's mousy yours brown. Yours is more like, yours is like, I can't tell you how many times my husband has said, what color is your sister hair? He does not know what blonde is versus brunette. <laughs> and I'm like, Okay. <laughs> well, because I dye my hair and sometimes it's brown, sometimes it's more blonde, sometimes it's, I don't know. I know, but I never think of you as blonde. I think of you, yeah. you know, but light brown. I was brown. blonde when I was little. I was, I yeah. had blonde hair when I was little. Right. You know? You're, you're more light brown. But anyway, I am light brown. I'm, that's I'm just my opinion. Blah brown. That's why I dye it. Anyway, eye color. <laughs> Hazel. Blue. I like my eye color. I like your eye color too. It changes with what I wear, so. You only wear black though. <laughs> Steeler shirt, so. There you go. The yellow and black makes it pop. Black and yellow, right. black and yellow. <laughs> okay, height. Five, uh, five eight. And I'm five four. Actually, I'm five eight and a quarter, and I'm sticking to it. And I'm five four and a half, but I always leave <laughs> off the half. Why, you wanna be shorter than you are? Yeah. I wanna be taller than I am. Why, you're already tall. You say that like it's a bad thing. I, well, I'm I've saying, always wanted to be 5'10", but... <gasps> Why? Because that's like model height. That's like... Okay. That's like if I get tall enough, I'll be less fat. <laughs> <laughs> that's my thinking. Oh my God. I almost, <laughs> my coffee literally came up through my nose. <laughs> oh my God. Whatever you got to tell yourself, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, personality type. I am an A-type personality. A++. plus plus. <laughs> if you didn't know. I am a professional avoider. I do not like conflict, and everything is grand. Oh, God, my throat hurts from that coffee. <clears throat> Man. Thank you for that. Do you need a little sip of this? No, I don't. I'm good with the coffee. Thank you. <laughs> what time is it now? A little... No, it was a little 9 a.m. Hey, beverage. Hey, hey, hey. Anyway, uh, introvert or extrovert, 
I am an introvert, although if you get to know me, you probably think I'm more of an extrovert, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're you're quicker not to really care about what other people think and are just like yourself. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm an introvert. Like if I go into a room full of people I don't know, I am much like the observer. I like to observe people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I I like to see where people are at before I even waste my time on them, I guess. And my energy, because I feel like when you, you know, talk to someone and you're in their energy space and you feel that, and there's some people that are just not worth my energy, so. Amen, sister. <laughs> I'm an introvert just because I don't really like talking to people. I really don't. I, I'm very quiet, usually at work. I mean, I, 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 I'm cordial. I talk to people a little bit, but... I won't go out of my way to get to know you. I just, yeah, I'm just not that way. I never have been. So, um, okay. Where do you live? I live in the Palm Springs area, Southern California. I love it there. I've been there since 2001, right before 9-11 happened. Uh, in August, we moved out there and I love it. Okay. And I am Southern California uh, in the Riverside area, uh, which that is about an hour and a half east of LA. And, and I'm an about hour. Two and a half hours east of LA. Uh, yeah. And I'm an hour east of you. <laughs> right. So. She's almost in Arizona. She keeps. No. She has moved every. She, <laughs> when we lived close to each other, you know, our kids were very little, but then with every couple of years, she would move out further and further. And, and I told her, if you don't stop, you're going to be in Arizona. So please. <laughs> so she finally stopped moving. Yes. Anyway. Okay. So that was a little bit about ourselves. Very minor, nothing special, but on to the fun stuff. So we're going to do a segment called this or that friends or the office. The Office. I love The Office. It lifts my mood. This isn't like a go in detail kind of, why not? Kind of game. This is more why of an answer question. Maybe they want to know why I like it. Do they? <laughs> Probably okay. not. Okay, <laughs> let's go fast then. Well, I, I, thought, mean, I think that just tells you who you're sarcastic. You like that sarcastic, dry humor. Yes. I'm the more friends person. I love that bust out laugh. You know, just. You need a laugh silly. track in your life? I do. I need a laugh track. <laughs> I'm hilarious, and I, don't, I think I need a laugh track. I don't need a laugh track to know when to laugh, okay? <laughs> Summer That's or winter? Shh, girl, winter. Yeah, but winter in Palm Springs or winter in a normal climate? My winter is... <laughs> is 80 degrees. Yes, is 70 to 80. I will take that, thing. I will you. take winter all day because I hate the heat. Horrible. Pink or blue? Blue. Blue. Me too. I've always loved blue. Yeah, you were always dressed in pink, though, when we were little. I that always was got not blue. By choice. You always got pink. That Remember? was not by, yeah, because our mom thought she had twins that were born two years apart. That's why. No, and here's the funny part <laughs> we're literally a day apart, two years and a day apart. So when my, and she had cesarean, so I said, Mom, why didn't you just have us on the same day? I wanted you guys to have your individual day. Why? You never gave us separate birthday parties. Right. It was so we always. felt special, but we are always we? shared our birthday. We did not feel special because of that. <laughs> and she dressed us like twins. She did. She did. Yeah. I, anyway, For as long as I she I never did. will let her live that day. It's hilarious. Ridiculous. Okay. So before you go to bed, do you read or watch TV? I read. I have a goal this year to read 50 books and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm on my second book and it helps me turn my brain off. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I watch TV and I always watch reruns of shows I love because that way I don't get involved and I just can relax and not off and not care. So that is how I fall asleep because it, when I read, I don't get sleepy. Really? No, I don't. I actually like, it keeps me awake because I get all interested in what I'm reading. So okay. it's really annoying. Huh. Um, Facebook or IG? Facebook. I, I'm IG all day. I know you are. I don't go on Because it on gives Facebook. you that quick instant gratification, the swiping, <laughs> the, 
I'm more of an old soul and want to get into the dirt, dirty dirt. Like you consider Facebook dirty well, dirt? Well, like really? not just pictures. It has stories and I don't. You know, know that below the photo, <laughs> there's writing, right, on Instagram? Yes. I know. I'm it's just, just it's not. I don't know. It's, it's not, funny, but it's when not Insta my jam. When Instagram first started, my kids, mom, get Instagram, blah blah blah, and I'm like, eh, you know, right? Um, I don't think so. I'm too. I like Facebook. Well, I'm glad I didn't listen to them be because, I mean, I'm glad I took their advice because I actually really do like Instagram a lot more. I'm hardly ever on Facebook. Yeah. Um. So anyway. Oh, pretty. Where people can see what I'm doing. And I'm still kitting up. Wow, look at your pieces are huge compared to mine. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's your laugh track in life. You love that damn joke. I tell you. Because it applies does all it? the time. Does it? It does. And I like it too. <sighs> anyway. Um, okay. okay. Next one. Coffee or tea? Coffee? Do you believe that answer? <laughs> I believe I love vodka. Or, no, I mean I love whiskey. <laughs> I love I love coffee. I can't. Okay, I cannot go a day without coffee, but I can with without tea. So then you're coffee. So I am coffee, and I'm pretty much both because little, I drink both. With every a little day. bit of Bailey's in it. Stop. <laughs> I drink coffee every day. I work nights, so I drink coffee at work. I drink it on the way, way to work. Um, but then before bed, I always have tea. And we're English, so we grew up on tea. So I still drink a lot of hot tea. And it's very calming and relaxing for me because we did grow up on it. Right. And I um, I do drink a lot more during the winter, right. obviously. But summertime is iced tea all day. Please excuse my dogs walking around on the floor. I know it probably sounds really, really loud on your end. Um Lay down. Okay, so sweet or salty? Can I have both? No. Um, I can't. I'm just kidding. I have both for tea, <laughs> coffee, and tea. <laughs> I love sweet and savory together. <clears throat> like chocolate cover, covered pretzels. I love it. Do you like um, the salted caramel? I don't like that. Oh, that's, yeah, I don't either. I do not like that. Okay, inside or outside? Inside. I'm outside. Oh, I didn't say mine. I'm sweet, not salty. Are you sure about that? Why? <laughs> I'm speaking in general terms. <laughs> yeah, I'm very sweet. I'm sweet. Um, okay. Uh, inside or outside? I'm outside. You're inside. Cats or dogs? Cats. I'm dogs. Podcasts or music? In I mean, like, when you're driving. <sighs> I... I <laughs> I, um, I, I, some days there's nothing musically that I care to listen to. Um, I, I listen to YouTube in the car. I will listen to whipping chats in the car. Yeah, so do I. I, I do so many other things while listening to whipping chats other than working on my projects. Um, yeah, that's my answer. I do podcasts or YouTube uh, whipping chats also. I um, I don't do music too often anymore. I'm old and I can't stand today's music. And so really, if I, I can't, I don't, I can tell you who like any of the new artists are. Um, go, go lay down. Uh, yeah, I, I listen to te mostly like. Uh, I'll do decades like the 70s or the 80s oh, or the 90s, okay. you know, I'll do yeah. that mostly like soft rock The stuff mom had us listening to a show oh, growing up journey and yeah, I listen to all that stuff. Yeah Anyway, uh, Christmas or Halloween? Christmas now well, yeah, I used to love Halloween. I used to decorate and mm -hmm. go crazy, but Eh, my kids are older. No trick or treating really going on in the neighborhood. So. Yeah, I guess I should start doing this, huh? I'm just well, talking. That's kind of why we're here. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, it is uh, called the whip. Uh, jeans or sweats? Uh, sweats. Yeah. I mean, if I'm not leaving the house, I'm not putting well, no, jeans in on. in general. 
I mean, oh, yeah, we all wear sweats well, in the house, but w w like, would you rather? Could you? Would you wear like sweats out? Adidas no. sweats and a tennis shoes, mm -hmm. or would you put on some jeans and cute jeans. shoes? Jeans. Yeah, I'm sweats all day. I can't anymore. Jeans. I hate the feel of jeans. I used to love jeans. I've always worn them, and I cannot anymore. Really? I hate wearing tight things now. Tight clothes. I hate it. I think because I'm the fat. Way it feels. I'm getting fatter, and I just. Yeah, and I, especially this year, quarantine, it's like, get yeah. dressed what? Why? Right. Where are we going? Right. No, I'm good. If I can't wear sweats, I'm not going. That's my motto. <laughs> uh, fall or spring? I want to say fall just because I think the allergies, I'm starting to get allergies, so allergies are less in the fall to me, mm -hmm. and it's starting to cool off. Yeah, after your hot summer, yeah. you're ready for it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, um, I love both actually, um, but I do love the spring because everything starts to bloom and um, I just really love the flowers and being outside. So well, you're an outside I'm person. Outside person so. so that, yeah. Beach or mountains? Mountains. Okay. I, I Because I love outside, I love everything, it doesn't matter, but I we tend to go to the beach a lot. We don't go to the mountains very often. I just don't like the sand and... Ever since I was a kid and going in the beach with that undertow scared the mm. living crap out well, of me. I don't me. go in the water. <laughs> I don't go in the okay. water. No. Here in California? No, thank you. Well, it nah. Was, uh uh. It was different. Before, Disgusting. But anyway, um, okay. New York or Florida? Never been to either. But I know, but if you could I think go. I, New York, I. I want to feel the energy of a big city. I Not that I could probably live there, but I want to feel that energy. Mm -hmm. And Florida is humid, and I do not like humidity, so I'm New York. Okay. I'm New York as well. I've been there twice. I absolutely... I've only been to Manhattan um, twice, but I love it. Um, I wouldn't want to live there, but I absolutely love being there. It's just a different feeling. It's so different than California. And my husband's sister, she lives in Harlem, so... Oh, well, we stayed in Harlem when we um, were there one time. She offered us a room, you know, oh in gosh, her apartment. Oh, my gosh, to go. Yeah, we really do. It's amazing. It's so cool. Um, okay, so that is all I have for this or that. I do have a question for you, though. Uh -oh. So since you say The Office is your favorite, oh, which yeah. character do you identify or think you're most like? Um... I want to say, unfortunately, <laughs> I think I'm a lot like Pam. Um, simple, but she's a lot more romantic than I am. That died a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who do you think you're more like on Friends? Oh, Monica. Yeah. <laughs> then my kids used to call me Monica when we used to watch it. So, and who would you like to be? Um, I kind of like how free-spirited Meredith is. She's the drunk. I am <laughs> done. <Lord. laughs> of course you would. I because you, that's so opposite of I who I am. I thought you were going to say the um, Dwight. <laughs> I, I do kind of, I like how he calls people out on everything. Oh, that is so funny. And people hate him, but... They I like him. Dwight. He's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I would be more like Rachel. Just because she's so, like, stylish and, you perfect. know. She's just perfect. Her hair. She's pretty. She's just, you know. She's yeah. like, I think all well, a lot of women want to be like Rachel. Yeah. You know? But, anyway. All right. Well, that was all for that segment. All right. Let's so... See. Um, on our Instagram, we had a few people leave us questions for this very video. Um, and the first question was, how many DPs have you done? Oh, I forgot to count. Uh, Rough estimate. Uh, thanks. Probably uh, 10 or 11. Wow. Wow. And I just started in October. You're quick. Well, that's what happens when you don't work. Yeah. I'm back to work, and that's why I don't have it. I'm not, <laughs> not doing much anymore. 
I think I'm probably around 15 to 20. You know, when I first started, I would, I got the Amazon smaller ones and they're in a drawer for the most part, um, except for a couple that I've framed okay. so far. Uh, the next question from Instagram was who started first? Um, I did. I started first. And how I got started was I needed a project and I typed in paint by numbers into Google. And all of a sudden I see this diamond painting and I clicked on it. And I mean, I like tedious work. I like detailed work. I like you know, kind of like the perfectionist personality. Everything has a place and I love it because it tells you what to put where. I mean, there's pretty much no thinking involved. <laughs> so you like to not think. So pretty much, <laughs> but create beautiful things. Um, so that's uh, who started first was Kel. Yes. And uh, your favorite DP? that you've completed, Chris? Oh, Angel Dream by Evita Works from a DAC. I just completed that on the 1st of January, I believe. And I wanted to finish it before I went back to work. And I just loved it. I enjoyed every single moment. I enjoyed the final, pro the final product. I haven't put it up or shown it or done a review yet because it is a gift. So once I give that away, I will... Um, Last one. Put that up on the channel. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and you? Um, I have to say my masterpiece <laughs> Pretty. is uh, Chuck Pinson's Treasures of the Great Outdoors just because it took me 10 pl plus weeks to finish. It's huge. It's square. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting it. You got it. Um, and I felt so accomplished when I finished it and it's beautiful. And, but did you give it as the gift yet? Did you give the gift? No, I have oh, the I'm frame. Sure. I just need to put the adhesive on the frame because I got one of those poster frames that are magnetic Okay. and it, it held it without any adhesive, but I know over time that weight is going to weigh yeah. on it. So Okay. That's telling us to drink our coffee. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> shot, shot, shot. Alrighty. Next question. Uh, how long have you diamond painted? Um, go ahead. Uh, since October of 2020. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure. I want to say at least two years for me. Because I went back in my Amazon buy list and, oh gosh, I think it was 2018. In the, maybe in the middle of 2018 that wow. I started. Yeah. Huh. Okay, our next question is... <laughs> how long has our uh, YouTube channel been up? Did we say how we got started? Oh, I did. You didn't. I said paint by numbers. Oh, okay. You and I got started because Kelly brought one over and made me do it. There you hey, go. hey, I'm hey. Well, <laughs> wait, when mom was here for a visit, somebody asked me about it and I talked about it. Mm -hmm. And I never push anyone into anything, but if more questions are asked, then I'll give more details and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. And I talked about it, but it wasn't like grabbed onto, so I just kind of let it go. Does that make sense? Are you sense? talking about by me? Yeah. Oh, girl, I was throwing a birthday party. I had mom here. <laughs> I, I was all over the place. I know. Um, but anyway. Oh yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so she brought one over, and I didn't know she had really thought about thought about it like that. But uh, yeah, it was a little tiny piece that just had. Um, what do you call it? It was a partial. Partial. Mm -hmm. And uh, she just, diamond dots. Yeah, mm -hmm. she just wanted me to try it. And I was like, okay, this is cool. And then I bought a few pieces and I 
I've been doing it ever since, nonstop. Yeah. All right. Oh, how long has our YouTube channel been up? Oh, we started on November 21st of 2020. So about six weeks. We're a little newborn still. We are. Wah, how wah. cute. We're still babies. finding our way. We're babies. All right, next question. Who is your favorite YouTube creator? I, you know, it's really hard to narrow down to one. I think I love different ones for different reasons. Um, I have to say Mrs. Coffee, of course, she is just the OG. My, she's the OG. <laughs> she's my entertainment. When I just want to laugh and just relax and have fun, I listen to her. Uh, I do Stitcherista for the true crime. Um, Mindy's voice is so calming and, and just like a, like a, your mom is around, you know, like that kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. Um, and I listen to Urelli a lot and I just laugh because her and I are so much alike. We have so many like of the same likes and this, you know, I was listening to her whip and chat one, the one hour for Mrs. Coffee's, uh, challenge and I'm driving home and I'm just laughing because I'm like, me too. I'm like <laughs> yelling out as I, as I was listening. So, um, but I have to say with the challenge, I've listened to a few new people and uh, I really enjoyed, um, oh my gosh, what did, I, what did I say the names were? Uh, hold on, I wrote them down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, Crafting with Kay. I really enjoyed her, so check her out. And Emma Casey Loves Crafts. Uh, those are the two new ones that I, um, I enjoyed. And I told you about another one I was listening to. Uh, anxiety. Yeah. In, uh, anxiety. Uh, anxiety art. Name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was, she, I was listening to her and her husband, and they were, they were fun. So, yeah. So, but for now, that's so far, those are the, my go-tos. Yeah, the same for me. Um, I do like Rachel Ray. I love her voice. Oh, that's right. It's you so that. calming. Um and she's really knowledgeable and sweet. You could tell she's a she sweet, is. kind hearted person. Yes. Um, like she says, she's a box of kittens. Oh, she really is, though. She is. She's so sweet. And yeah, you're right. I forgot about her voice is so soothing. It's like if you just want to like fall asleep and listen to her, you know? Yeah. Did you say you did? <laughs> well, no, <laughs> she, she's talked about it. Oh, okay. She's talked about doing that. And she's actually reading Alice in Wonderland on one of her playlists. Oh. And I, since I'm working on Alice over here, I want to listen to her That's read amazing. Alice in Wonderland. Cool. Yeah. Um, I do like um, uh, DP Addiction Adventures, Jennifer Roberts. Um, I do like her. I like, I'm going blank. Um, That's why I gave you the list. I know. Um, Rachel Ray, Stitcherista, Mrs. Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Um, and Eurelian and, uh, Ashley's great. Ashley. Yes, um, yes, yes. Very sweet. So yeah, we're getting to know everybody just like they're getting to know us. And it's, it's a great community. You know, I, I haven't seen or personally experienced anything negative. Um, and Choose not to. <laughs> We're going to ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> if that comes our we way. Will, we will not be involved. So like know, that, know that ahead of time, okay? Like Mrs. Coffee said, we're going to have to part ways. Right? Yes, we will. Yes. So we ain't got time for that. Oh, who are the who's the creator you're most like? I already said that. Yorelli. Okay. Everything like she's an yes. outdoorsy girl. She's quiet. You know, she's, she's kind of introvert. Yeah. Uh, she loves friends, I found out. Yep. Um, mm hmm what else? I, I listening on the way here. I was just like, oh my gosh, like she's my twin, <laughs> except she's like 20 years. 13. No, 13 <laughs> years younger. <laughs> no, 13. Uh, something like that. You did the math. Something like that. I don't, I don't, remember. I don't even remember how old I am. Anyway. Um, I think I want to say I'm most like probably Mindy. Yeah, I think so too. You know, um, yeah. she's, 
I don't know, just so calm and patient, but she is a teacher yeah. and that, that with being a teacher comes great responsibility. I'm not there yet, but, um, yeah. All right. Next question. Confetti or color blocking? Confetti all day. Yeah, I think you're in the minority. <laughs> I hate color blocking. I don't, I would rather, like, Angel Dream was confetti up Heavy. the yin yang. Yeah. Like, there was no color blocking at all. Uh -huh. And I loved it. That's probably why I love that piece. It takes them maybe, a little longer. Maybe, because you probably get bored quickly. Oh, color blocking kills me. And I'm like, do we have a, a multi-placer of 30? <laughs> <laughs> Because hey, I hate it. You can invent it. I oh, hate. Um, I'm a mix. Like, okay, so I, Chuck Pinson was confetti madness, right? Mm -hmm. And you kind of get used to it. But when I come across color blocking, I'm like, oh, let me use my multi-placer. I need mm -hmm. more experience and practice. And yeah. And I know that people use a multi-placer even when they're doing confetti or even when they're only placing one or two drills at a time. Mm -hmm. I'm not there yet. Yeah. Um, and I like single placing. Like Stitcherista, yeah. she places each individual diamond on right. her canvas. And I find comfort and control in that. I like controlling each diamond, if that makes any sense. Yeah. And I think, too, it, it's... It, it does, you don't go so quick, you know, like if you're yes. multi-placing, you're going to be finished a lot faster. Right. Which sometimes you do want to be finished on a piece. Right. You know, because you're over it. You're over and it. And others, right. you're like, I want to enjoy it. Right. You know. That's how I felt about Angel Dream. I didn't even want it to end because I enjoyed every single bit of it. Yeah. Maybe I need to buy more Avita Works pieces, clearly, because. There you go. I, I really do love all well, the pieces. Well, when you do your Chuck Pinson, you will get that. Confetti happy. Yeah, but it's also square, so I I don't know. Oh yeah, we'll there's see. that. There's uh, that. I, I we'll get to that because that's our next I, question. Actually, round or square? Round. But I have never done a square. But for now, round. Right. It stresses me out. Just the thought of it stresses it you out because you haven't even tried the it yet. The thought of it just stresses me out because you know why? Because how you're like, oh, you got a checkerboard and this and that. I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I just want to do what I want to do. And I don't want to have to have a plan. And, oh, it takes the fun out of it for me. Mm. Oh, yours is so pretty. Oh, thanks. Look at that. I'm getting my flowers on. That's so cute. Um, I, okay. I'm a square girl from way you back, really okay? I started with squares. I went all Did you? in. Yes. Well, no, that's a lie. Because, you know, most of the Amazon, you know, ones are round. Yes. But I went all in on that Chuck Benson, and that was my first DAC. Okay. And it's huge, and it's a commitment. But... I like both. I like the rounds because it goes faster. You don't have to like worry about placement quite as much. Um, but the squares, there's just, it's so gratifying if you do the checkerboard and you're clicking them in. It's like, wow. you nice. like being meticulous. I do. Yeah, I, I do. Nobody got time for that. You would think I would be an esthetician or something, you know, what? like really? working on somebody's face, wow. like getting. Popping those pimples. Like a plastic you know? surgeon or something. No? Mm, that's, no. <laughs> that's, a bit, that's, a bit of a, that's a bit of a stretch. A stretch for you? Okay. All right. Oh, I just a thought. Finn. No. Just a thought. Okay, next question. <clears throat> Is that all we have? No, landscapes or more... Um, Hannah Lynn. Type. Hannah Lynn, like... Pictures of people and or animals or landscape, right? Well, like far or close. It's up? not necessarily like the people. It's the type of um, art. art. So, you know, do you want it to look like a photo or do you want it to be more cartoony, artsy? You know, no, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I would. I would have to say more um, art, like a landscape uh, picture type look. Okay. I. I love how those don't don't get me wrong. I love how Hannah Lynn's are and like all those different artists 
They're so beautiful. Yeah. I just... You don't know what you would do I with I don't know them. what I would do with it. Yeah. I would enjoy doing it, but then what would I do? Because right. I, I don't... That's not my style. So, therefore, I choose to buy things that I can either hang in my house or give to people. Yeah. So, um, I will be talking about that also um, at the end. I will... I want to show you guys my craft room and what my plans for that is. And that includes a lot of DAC, so... Um... I, having done the landscape from Chuck Pinson, I have to say that I'm learning what I enjoy working on and then what do I enjoy having after the fact. Um, I, I prefer to work on something that I can actually see what it's becoming. Chuck Pinson, when you're working on section by section, it's just a blob of colors. You cannot tell what that is necessarily. Then I went on to uh, the Christmas, um, what was it called? Um, oh, Festive Fireplace? Yes, thank you. Festive Fireplace, also a square. But I enjoyed the clean lines, knowing that I'm working on a clock, a, mm -hmm. you know, a tree, what have you. So I'm learning what I like and what I don't like. Um, so I'm not leaning towards the landscape. Okay. I'm on the other. And, you know, I used to think about what am I going to do with this when I'm done? What am I going to do with it? And I used to think a lot about other people when I was buying, like, oh, this would be great for that person. Mm -hmm. This would be great. Now I'm thinking, what am I going to enjoy working on? Okay. That's more important to me than the outcome. I get that. I mean, I look at, like, Mrs. Coffee and Citrice and all those people who have been doing it for so long. I'm like, you guys do all different types of everything. And what do you do with them all? Like, right. I know they say like, oh, just roll it up, put it away or whatever. Um, and I mean, this is what they do. So of course they're going to have a lot of a yeah. collection, a big collection. Right. Um, and I do, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some I see where I'm like, oh my God, that is, I love that. I would love to do it. But then I always go back and go, but what am I going to do with it? Right. You know, so I hope to one day get to where. Well, you're a decorator too. Like yeah. I will have random stuff up in my. That's house. true. <laughs> and that you will true. not. You have a color scheme. You have this, that, and yes. the other. So that's just your A type personality trying to put everything into. That's true. The box. That's true. So oh. which is fine. Yeah. And speaking of that, oh, I think I'm going to show you guys my TV room also. Ooh. It's a TV themed room. Yeah, yeah, with different yeah. shows. Mm -hmm. So I will, I will be showing yes, that at the end. Definitely, also. definitely have to do that. All right, let's go on to a couple of questions I came up with. Okay. Uh, favorite actress or actor? Um. Okay, so I love Kevin Spacey and Bradley Cooper. Idris Elba. I mean, I can just go on and on. Yeah. And actresses, Jennifer Lawrence is one of my favorites, although she hasn't been doing much lately. Um, Charlize Theron. Yeah. Love her. She's good. Uh, Regina King. Love her. Yes. Um, I mean, I watch so much TV. I can't. Jennifer Aniston. You know, like I just, I love so many different types of actors, and because I want, I like so many different types of TV. Yeah. So. It's not a clear-cut answer for you, but... Right. I, ju I just said, you know, Kevin Spacey. I know he has personal mm -hmm. things going on right now, but... Um, yeah, we love his old stuff. Yeah. He, he... I like... He's just a talented actor. He's so talented. You know? Oh. Um, favorite movies. Okay. All right. Well, speaking of Kevin Spacey, my favorite... Some of my favorite movies, American Beauty... Oh my gosh. And I knew that was going to be one of yours. Yes. Um, American Beauty and where's my list? Where's my list? Um, and Seven. Ooh. Seven is one of my favorite what's movies. What's in the box? What's in the box? That's going to be one of our new, <laughs> when we unbox, we're going to say, what's in the box? <laughs> yes. Um, the Great Gatsby. I've and never seen that. Stop it. You have to watch it on my TV because you know why? My TV in my room. Uh -huh. Last night I was like, I have to watch that movie in my room because the TV is amazing. We're going to watch it tonight. Okay. Hope I don't fall asleep. 
Um, You've seen it before. I haven't. I truly so. have. But I absolutely have. Anyway. Uh, and then my number one favorite, which I know, I don't know if a lot of people have seen this movie, um, Sideways. I still have not. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, good thing you come over here to record and we're going to watch movies. Right. Um, Sideways is uh, Paul... Um, Oh my gosh, I can't think of his last name. It starts with a G, I think. Anyway, it's about these two best friends. Sandra O, oh, right? Yeah, Sandra O's oh in it. Uh, Paul Giamatti. And they Oops. go up north uh, to wine country, Napa, and have his best friend's like black bachelor party. Not a party, but just them two hanging out. And, okay. Um, it is, I don't know why it is my whole... One of my most favorite movies. It's hilarious, and I've seen it probably 30 times. Wow. And it's my father-in-law's, Bill's favorite uh -huh. movie, too. Okay. Yeah. I'll have we'll to, text each other. I'm watching watch it. That. Oh, my gosh. I don't know that you'll appreciate it. Like, Is it dry? It's, or? it's kind of dry. It's not a super exciting film, but it is so pretty. Sometimes it is just like, it's just funny because it's just ridiculous. Like the like human condition? Just, or? They're idiots. Okay. They're sad. <laughs> okay. I'll have to watch it. Uh, my favorites, well, American Beauty, you said already. I love how everything isn't what it seems in that movie. From yeah. the outside, they look like the perfect family. And it's anything but. It's just so yeah. real. And I like that. And the cinematography is oh, amazing. Oh, and the, and the soundtrack. Everything is just, I had oh. bought the soundtrack when it came out. And... I think Geisha was the only other soundtrack I've ever bought. Really? Yeah. Wow. I love Lord of the Rings. Okay. I'm one of those. Oh, Lord. We will just put it on and watch it. Really? Like, I love I Lord of I've the Rings. I think I've only seen the first one. The cinematography and the music, so beautiful. And you know I've been to Hobbiton. I know. And I'm like, this is, it was beautiful, but it was so You're lost like, on me. Eh. Like, when they said we're going, I'm kind of like... All right, well, I'll go because the one one of the girls we went with wanted to go. It's uh -huh. in New Zealand, Hobbiton. Yeah, and um, I was like, whatever, I'll go. It's fine because I'll I'll always be down for what other people want to do. Yeah, you know, it's fine. Oh my god, I loved it. Did you? It was beautiful. It was so cool to see that little, you know, the little houses. Yeah, it was just the Shia. Yeah, it was the Shia. It was great. Um, love the Shawshank Redemption. Yes. Just friendship, overcoming huge obstacles, mm -hmm. and the family stone, which I've mentioned before. You are not allowed to mention that movie. Why not? Is that, you mentioned that at Christmas time, and I said I wasn't going to mention well, maybe, Little Women. Pe maybe people didn't know, didn't watch that, okay? I love the family stone. We get it. <laughs> all right, fine. That's all I'll say about that. Um, okay. Okay. This isn't something I asked you earlier, so I'm getting you in the spot. Not in the Go. spot, on the spot. What's your dream? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's your dream car? Oh, you know what's so funny is I don't care about cars. Really? I don't. I don't. Um, Jason was like, oh, I buy our rules one. I'm like, for what? I would never spend crazy money on a car, but the most money I would spend on a car would be on a ben Bentley. So just a say two, Bentley. A, a two-door Bentley. But that's like 150000 It's not even that crazy. So I'm talking your dream car, like something that you want to yeah, get. Yeah, okay. I'd probably, you know? It would probably be a Bentley. It doesn't have to be. A realistic a, car would be an Audi, a two-door Audi. Okay. But if it was like a dream car over wow. hundred grand, it would be the Bentley. Okay. Yeah. Well, mine is an Audi. <laughs> <laughs> I see how we dream differently. Yes. <laughs> mine is like, Audi, I have that. That one day. Audi's realistic. Like I, an A4. I want an A4 Audi. Oh, hell no. I what? want like an A6 or 7. No, I like the 7, I but I'll probably do the 6. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just, and I'm not a car person either, but I remember on my way to school in high school, mom was taking me to school and I saw an Audi, and it literally took my breath away. Like, cars don't take my breath away. Right. This car, I was like, oh, that's my car. Wow. So, I hope I get to have that one day. Okay. All right, next. What is your favorite dad joke? 
Oh, you know, I got it right here. All right, you ready? I hope so. <laughs> what did the nut say when it was chasing the other nut? What? I'm a cashew. <laughs> <laughs> you almost couldn't say it. Okay. Jokes. okay, here's mine. Okay, but I have another one after. Oh my gosh. Go okay. Ahead. All right. And just so you know, in the future... You're not supposed to preface the dad okay. joke. Okay. No, I'm saying in the future, we, we're going to feature dad jokes on our channel. And then no one's going to watch us anymore. But okay, <laughs> let's go for it. They're going to be like, these lame old ladies. Okay, here you go. Yes. Why do melons have weddings? Because they can't look. Dad! Because they can't elope. Yeah. I'm sorry. I laughed before I even they said can't got it out. Elope. Yeah. You can't stop me on a dad joke. Like I am the okay. master of okay. dad jokes. Well, this is a classic, and this is probably my favorite. But everyone knows the punchline. Man, now you're gonna probably get me. What? What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. <laughs> I told you I get it. I know them. Okay. Mm. What are the ta what are the taco? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna make this a joke because it's just a statement. But the taco asked, "Why don't you want to talk about it?" And the chip said, "Cause I'm not your friend anymore." <laughs> but it has a picture with it, and if any of you've seen it, it is hilarious. You'll have to post it on our Instagram. I will post it. I will try to post it in this video. Okay. We're late. Okay. Here's a. I have two more questions, and we're okay, at like 46 to, minutes. Okay. Then I get to ask you. Um. If you could be invisible, what would you do? Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> I would murder someone. You would? Yeah, this one person I don't like. Because oh. no one would know it was me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I watch way too much true crime. <laughs> would you use the ice pick too? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Um... Is that it to be continued? I don't know what I would do. I really don't know what I would do. I, I, I think I would follow people around, like people I know, Pretty. to see to see how they really are. Okay. I don't know. I think I, think I would just fuck with someone and just follow like pull their I don't hair. Like, like someone I really don't like. And uh -huh. I would just scare the shit out of them all the time. Like think, make them think there's things. a ghost or something. Yeah. Ooh. Like blow in their ear. <laughs> I would. I would do something. There's so much like excitement in your eyes. I know, right? Because <laughs> I'm thinking of this one person, Ooh. and it's someone that's in the out there in the public that's very popular and yeah. not in a good way. Uh oh. So okay, we'll leave it at that. Mm -hmm. And my last question: Do you believe in aliens? Mm. I'm not a big alien person. And I'm not saying they don't exist because I believe, oh, there's just so much out there. You know, it, we it's not just us. And I know that. But I'm not interested. I'm not scared. I just don't really care. Okay. Yeah, I really just, I'm not interested in them. Okay. So I hope that they don't come get me one day because I said that. But. <laughs> They're probably not very interested in you They're either. They're probably really not. They're like, this lady has nothing to, nothing to, get. nothing to offer. Nothing. Uh, okay, that's it for my questions. Okay, you have some surprise questions. I, I have some questions for you now. Oh, Ready? No. Well, no. actually, uh, some are questions and some are um, statements. Not necessarily statements, but I'm going to have you tell me something. Oh gosh. Um, this is the part that's going to be edited. <laughs> Not all of No. Just kidding. Go ahead. Okay, so where is the furthest place you have traveled? I think when we went to Michigan. As children. As children. Yeah. Okay. For winter, Christmas. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And how old were you the first time you went to Vegas? And why did you go? And with who? Oh, the first time I went to Vegas was your wedding. You're welcome. <laughs> your first... My first, first and my only first wedding. And only, I was saying, <laughs> first and only so far. Uh, and how old was I? You were 17. Okay. So I couldn't do anything. No. <laughs> well, I couldn't either. I was 19. Oh. We You're... couldn't do anything. We walked yeah. the strip. We except, got... except have that nine-course dinner that took no. three hours. 
Stab me in the face. <laughs> just, just get, kill me. Uh, how old were you when you first wore a thong? <laughs> Next week. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> probably in my early 20s. Tried it out. Yeah. A little flossy flossy. And then you said And then nope. I was good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what what about you? You're not answering any of these questions. I'm not supposed to. Did you answer my, the questions you asked me? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Most so the furthest them. place I've traveled is New Zealand. Uh, the first time I went to Vegas was uh, like three or four months prior to me getting married because our friends got married. Okay. So we were all under 21. So that was ridiculous. Um, the first time I wore a thong, I was probably in my 20s as well, late 20s, because I had three kids. I didn't care. I mean, back then, too, I don't even know if thongs were really like a th were th thongs even a thing like in the, in the 90s. Know. Yeah, yeah, but like, I don't remember my friends wearing them. Like, Wait, are you talking about a bathing yeah, suit? I'm talking about underwear. Oh, okay, underwear. Yes, okay, yes. yes. Okay. But I, I was probably in my late 20s, and then I still didn't really wear them until my 30s. Wow. Yeah, and now I don't, I very rarely wear grandma underwear. Wow, so you're yeah. exclusive. Pretty much. Okay. Pretty much, because I don't want the line and, yeah. You don't want the line in your sweatpants? <laughs> Dave? <laughs> Yeah, really hampers the look. <laughs> you know what? That's worse than jeans, though. That's worse than jeans when you have right? a grandma panties on sweats. Your yoga pants. Yeah, because when I go to work, I only wear sweats or yoga pants, and then you don't want grandma underwear. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, you are you, are you are a grandma. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm a buy them again. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So, what's your favorite memory of me? Wow. We need to pause. Just kidding. Um, gosh, just us laughing. Like, I that's don't... so generic. Like, you well, don't have one time because I have one time that really I'll tell you mine, then maybe you'll like. Okay, okay. So, my one of my favorite memories of you is the day you told me you were pregnant with your daughter. Okay, I did it cute too. You really did. You really shocked me. That's why I, I did. was not expecting it. Um, Are you going to tell how you did or are you going to have me do Oh, it? people you, are like, what happened? <laughs> you tell. Oh, so it, was, it wasn't that big of a deal, but we were at my our mom's house uh, hanging out and my youngest was uh, about one years old. Yeah. No, she no. wasn't even one. She was about six oh, you're or nine youngest. months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she was probably nine months old. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were just over there hanging out visiting and uh, Kel gave me a card. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. And so I open it, and it had an oven with a bun in it. And I didn't get what that meant. I just opened it, and then she said, you basically were like, oh, you're going to be an auntie. And, yeah. and I just started crying. And the funny thing was, she gave our mom a card, and mom didn't cry. <laughs> Remember? Yeah. She didn't even cry. And I was like, ah, like bawling like an yeah. idiot. That was cute. I think that's my favorite memory of you. <laughs> No, you're a cheater. You can come back to it if you want. Clearly, now you're trying to make me feel cheater. bad. You will Clearly, you don't have feelings. I remember our fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if that's your favorite memory of me kicking your ass all the time, then cool. <laughs> I wouldn't call it my favorite. I don't know. Okay, then. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint. I know. Not my first and not my, my last. Feelings. It hurts my feeling I have. <laughs> Your one feeling? <laughs> okay. Uh, tell us about the first time you got drunk. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. Wow. <laughs> You're, there's right. so many. Well, the first time. How, how old were you? Okay. Um, I was in middle school. <gasps> Stop. <laughs> We where okay we Tell did story. okay so I used to go over to Kim's house yes my mom would drop me off at her house and she then her a horrible horrible kid her Come. grandparents would drive us to school mm -hmm. so 
I got dropped off, but I hid around the shed in back. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if Kim told them she was sick or something. But basically, her grandparents went off to work. We went in the house, mm -hmm. drank brandy, played cards, and I got on the little stationary bike <laughs> and had a great that. day until the school called mom and said I ditched. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. But, <gasps> but that, I would say that's the first time I got drunk. Wow. You were young. You were yeah. like 11 or 12. No wonder you're an Alki. Hey, I Jeez. am not. I'm a... Damn, and everybody thought I was the bad one because I got pregnant young. See, I just was better at hiding it. That's what Kim always says. She was like, you are the one that got pregnant, but you were really not the bad one. Everybody else was. You just got blamed. Well... Was like, for sure. In your group, maybe. No, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. In our group of friends. Yeah. I was the only one that got pregnant, but everybody else was the ones drinking and doing drugs. I didn't do that stuff. Right. So, yeah. Uh, my first time was, I was like 16, and my friend Tasha, remember Tasha? Mm -hmm. We uh, were walking down Mission Boulevard, and we had night train and oh. Kool-Aid, and, and I literally stopped, put the bottle on the ground, ripped open the Kool-Aid packet, dumped it in, shook it up, and we were drinking it as we are walking down the street. Pretty. And it was like 10 or 11 at night. Very pretty. Very and just pretty. so you know, Mission Boulevard was where you go pick up street walkers. But they, they weren't that far. They were down the other way. Okay. They, Holt, no, Holt was where the oh, street walkers okay. were. Not Mission. Mission, they had them in certain areas, but in the area we lived in, there was a drive in. Remember? Yeah. It was like yeah, industrial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't safe, mind you. But yeah, I had to walk through there heading home from school. So that was mine. So, should we wrap it up so you can show your craft room and? Uh, sure, but let's before we go, let's talk about um, what we want to do with our channel and what we um, what our thought process is with with where we want to take this. And it's not going to be all the time. We're not going to do every episode like this, but we are going to. Um, do you want to talk about it, or you want me just to talk about it? You mm -hmm. go ahead, and I may jump in. Okay, so we would like to discuss topics, and I heard one of the YouTubers saying that, you know, she has mental health problems, and she has this and that, and she did, but she doesn't want to talk about it because she doesn't want to be, like, sad or brought down, and she doesn't want to bring anybody else down, and while I totally hear that, you know, what that person's saying, and I get it, um, we are going to talk about some things, but we're not going to do it in a depressing way. We're going to share like our experiences mm -hmm. and we want to be able to share some of those with people so that they, maybe they don't feel so alone or, you know, they can relate to some of the, the situations we've had in our life. Right. Because what we go through makes us who we are. And as much as we want to change certain things, number one, we can't, we can only move forward and... Also, like, if those things didn't happen, we wouldn't be who we are. True. And uh, I think, too, like, yeah, we're sisters, and there's a lot we know about each other, but there's a lot we don't know about each other. Yeah. You know, especially, um, we weren't super close when we were growing up, and, and then distance, you know, while we were having our kids, it was more of a distance issue. Mm -hmm. Um Wait. A physical distance. We, we pretty much hated each other growing up. Oh, we did, for sure. Yeah. You said... What did I say? We didn't We didn't get care for each other. <laughs> well, let's tell what <laughs> Kelly said. We fucking hated each other. There you go. But, 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 but that's it, an example of what we've gone through, what we've learned. You know, we're yes. not... We're not going to be fluffy, fake, you know... We are going to tell our stories individually and together as sisters. You know, there's things we've gone through where we have completely different, you know, yes. opinions about what happened and what we remember. True. So, but yeah, we'll just, you know, there's going to be episodes where we tell stories and talk about things and, you know, hopefully you all don't, um, run. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully you all don't feel negatively about that or, you know, and if, if you, 
don't really like what we're doing, I mean, feel free to leave comments and just let us know the things you like or things you don't, or um, yeah. if there's topics you want us to talk about, we can always do that too. And this is gonna evolve. For sure. So we're evolving, our channel will evolve, and you know, new topics will come up as, along the way. For sure. So, with that said, I guess we will wrap this up because we're at one hour now and I wanted to do a quick little video tour of my um, office craft room nursery and the TV room I wanted to show you since we were talking about TV shows. So, thank you for it. watching and subscribing and liking and your time is very precious to us. It's something that you cannot get back. And for everyone who is a YouTube creator, you know, you inspire us on the daily and we thank you for being there too. Yes. Thank you guys so much. We're loving what you guys are doing and um, we're really trying not to copy you. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes things come out of our mouths and we'll be like, wow, we just sounded like another person, one of these other YouTubers, but uh, we're enjoying this so much and we just thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and, um, continue to let us know how you, what you think of us, our channel and anything that you'd like to talk about. We would love to, um, to do that for you. So, uh, enjoy the challenge and I hope you guys find a whole bunch of, uh, new YouTubers that you love following. And uh, we are going to wrap this up. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye, crafters. Bye. This is my craft room office nursery. I sit here and diamond paint most days. Um, this is for the grandbabies. Um, and this is my stash over here. I have these, just a few, and then I have um, one from DAC, a big one, and another one that's behind the chair. Uh, I did this piece here because I uh, have an animal page on Instagram and um, do some rescue work, and uh, my, our crafts and coffee, and uh, Eeyore because I love him. Yeah, so in this room, I just recently purchased from DAC Beast, Wonderland, and Cinderella. And I am going to do those and uh, hang them in this room eventually. So I thought it would be a good combination for the kids and for my diamond painting. So this is what we call the TV room. It's a guest room, but I did a TV theme. Friends, bunch of our different... Uh, favorite TV shows, some old school shows, Gilmore Girls because we are obsessed with them, and some pops up here, Friends Pops, and uh, we've actually been to the Warner Brothers set, so we got to see, uh, they had a Gilmore Girls special last year, and um, they moved the Friends Fountain to the lot, so we got to see that. I'm obsessed with Big Bang Theory, and those my it's my daughter on the uh, on the set of Central Park. Everyone friends. So yeah, that's my TV room. <laughs> <laughs>